So, after you've set up your Visual Studio Code environment, as shown in my previous video, linked in the cards above, you're going to want to set up and create your own project. This video will show you how to do just that, and as an example, we will write our own Blink LED code. As usual, the source files will be available from my website, linked in the description. As the prerequisite to this video, it is really important that you set up the entire tool chain correctly, as shown in the video I just mentioned. Otherwise, this process won't work properly. Also, if this video or any others have helped you, please do consider liking the video and subscribing to get notified of more Pico tutorials that I make. So, to begin with, we need to create a folder for our project. I'm going to make one next to our Pico SDK installation folder and call it Pico Projects. The first thing you need to do is navigate to the Pico examples we downloaded uh, previously and copy the Pico SDK import CMake file into your new project folder. Now, open a developer command prompt by using the Windows search, then open Visual Studio Code using the code command. With Visual Studio Code now open, navigate to your project folder and open it. We now need to create two files. Firstly, the configuration file for CMake, which is a text file titled CMakeLists.txt. And we also need to create our C file, which will contain our project code. I will call this Blink LED. In order for the compiler to know what to do with our files, we need to write some commands in the CMakeLists.txt file we created. To start with, we need to tell it what version of CMake it should expect, which in our case is 3.12. We do this by using the command CMake minimum version. Next, we need to include the file we copied into our project directory. Simply do this with the include command. Now CMake wants to know what project for, uh, this is for, so I use the project command and enter Pico projects. Now we initialize the Pico SDK and then add our C file as the executable using the add execu executable command with the arguments blink LED then blink LED.c. In our C file, we are going to use the standard Pico library, and so we need to include this here with the target link libraries command to link the library uh, that we want to use to the Blink LED file. Finally, we need to tell the compiler to build the files which are suitable for programming the Pico, and we do this by using the Pico add extra outputs command. You can now save this file and close it if you wish. We now need to initialize this configuration that we've just made, and we do this simply by going to the terminal, then configure tasks. You should now see the GCC for ARM compiler selected in the bottom left. If you haven't, if you don't see this now, then you just simply press that button where I've highlighted in red and select it. The output window is actually telling me I've made a typo, but when corrected, you should see that the configuration is complete. We can now write some code in our C file. This is going to be a very straightforward example program and you can write whatever you want in here, but we will simply blink the green LED on the Pico on and off at about half second intervals. Firstly, let's include our Pico standard library, just as a note that if you want to, make, uh, if you want to include any of the other Pico libraries, you'll have to add them to the target in the CMake lists file. Moving on, we need to initialize the pin, which is connected to the onboard LED. This is pin number 25. Using the GPIO, GPIO init function with the pin number as its argument, next we set this pin to output mode using the GPIO set direction function with its arguments being the pin number defined 
uh, and then GPIO out. To keep the program running indefinitely, we're going to use an infinite while loop. Then in this loop, we're going to turn the LEDs on with the GPIO put function to set the pin 25 to 1, which indicates a high voltage, and then use the sleep MS function to implement a 500 millisecond delay. To turn off the LEDs, simply copy the code again and change the 1 to a 0 in the GPIO put function. Now we are ready to build the project. Press the build button on the bottom taskbar and you should see it build without errors. If you open the build directory with Windows Explorer, you will see the Blink LED UF2 file that we will use to program the Pico. Now let's check if the Blink LED works as intended. Connect your Pico over USB whilst pressing its boot select button. Simply drag and drop the UF2 file over to the Pico storage. It should reboot and start blinking. Hopefully this video has helped you create your first Visual Studio Code program for the Pico. If you have any comments, please leave them in the, down below. Thank you for watching, and if this video has been helpful, then please consider liking and subscribing.